Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering your burning questions about Logitech's new Lyft Vertical Ergonomic Mouse. Now you may be wondering what is this thing and is it even a really good accessory? I'm going to be going over what I like and what I don't like about the mouse and whether I think it's something that you should add to your home office. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get to it. The lift was designed to allow your arm and hand to sit in a more natural posture, and they call it the natural handshake position. Rather than having to lay your hand flat for a regular mouse, the lift allows you to keep your hand sort of in a straight and its neutral position. This is why the mouse helps relieve wrist and hand pain. The mouse also has a nice grip feel to it and the buttons are super quiet. At first, it was a weird adjustment to the vertical mouse since the buttons were on the side. However, after a couple of days, I got used to it and noticed that it was much easier to move the mouse around without my wrist hurting. There are also customizable buttons that can be adjusted through the Logitech Options Plus software. You can even change the settings for different apps. So for Zoom, I could customize a button to mute my mic. Or on Safari, I can customize the side buttons to go back and forward between pages. My favorite part of this mouse is that I can easily switch between three devices with the easy switch button. Since I use a PC for work and my MacBook for content creation, this feature makes switching seamless. The mouse connects via Bluetooth or through the USB Bluetooth bolt receiver. The one surprising thing about this mouse is that it is powered by AA batteries. This was interesting because all of the other wireless Logitech mice that I've used in the past were rechargeable via USB-C. So I kind of wonder why they chose the battery option. Either way, the battery is supposed to last up to two years. So at least I don't have to worry about charging it every so often. As for price, this mouse comes in at $70 and it comes in a graphite color, rose or pale gray. The one that I'm using is graphite. And Logitech did not forget about the left-handed people. So there's a left-handed option too, if that works better for you. Before I get into some cons of this mouse, I'd like to take a moment to talk about our sponsor of this video. If you're watching this video, you're probably in the market for a new mouse and specifically a new ergonomic mouse. When researching online, it's sometimes difficult to sift through all the different ads that come in through the Google search engine. That is where Neva comes in. Neva is the first ad-free private search engine. Yep, you heard that right, ad-free. Neva prides itself on ensuring its users get the legitimate and relevant results that are clearly marked and categorized. So you don't have to worry about whether the website you're clicking on is harmful to your computer or your personal information. So here's how it works. When you search the term Logitech Lift, it'll show you where to buy the product without any ads. It'll even show you reviews of the product for easy access. And you can click on the source to tell Neva whether you prefer that specific source. When going to the video section, it even shows different YouTube videos reviewing the product. What's cool about Neva is that you can also connect your personal Google accounts or other types of accounts that Neva supports. So essentially you can link your Google account for a more personalized homepage. So if I search Sparklets, which is my water delivery service, I can filter it to personalized and it'll show results from my Gmail. Another cool feature is that you can search a recipe and get real results without having to read someone's entire life story before getting to the actual instructions to cook. I know we've all experienced this at some point. What I love about Neva is that I feel like I'm actually in control of my ability to search without feeling attacked by unnecessary ads or tracking. Neva helps show ad-free results without any corporate or financial influence. Neva offers a free Chrome extension as well as a premium version that gives you even more security and features. If you're interested in trying out the premium version, Neva offers a free 30-day trial. You can click on the link in the description below for more information. Now, back to the Logitech Lift review. Overall, the Logitech Lift has been great. However, I do want to point out a few cons that I've noticed while using it. First, because of its size and weight, it's pretty easy to knock over. So when I'm shifting between typing on my keyboard and using the mouse, I often move a little too quick and knock it over. But I think over time I'll get used to this and be more cautious when making the shift. But it is something that I noticed at first and I thought I would point it out. Another con was the adjustment period. It was definitely a weird feeling at first and my wrist did hurt because it was unused to using my mouse in this manner. But after a few days, I got used to it and I've noticed that I haven't had much wrist pain since using the Logitech Lift. Finally, there are less customizable buttons on the Logitech Lift 
than on the MX Master 3. But for me, this wasn't a big deal breaker because it's the same amount of buttons that were on the MX Anywhere 3. But if you currently use the MX Master 3, you will lose out on the horizontal scroll option and the extra buttons. Overall, the Logitech Lift mouse is a perfect solution for anybody who is dealing with wrist pain and for someone who works long hours at a computer. I have really come to love the Logitech Lift mouse and I actually can't work without it now. So even if I'm taking my work out on the go, I always take my Logitech Lift mouse because if I don't, I start to get wrist pain from using another type of mouse. What do you guys think? Do you think that you would ever try a Logitech Lift mouse or do you think you would try another ergonomic mouse? Let me know in the comments below. Below. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. I really appreciate it and it helps me create more content like this for you. Thanks. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.